It's 9.02 a.m. on the 30th September and there's a what seems to be a police car with its emergency lights on and you've called me over because there's an emergency I can assist you with. Could you let me know what the emergency is? Uh, there's no emergency. Can you produce oh. your driver's license for me? Thank you. I w you've got your emergency lights on, so I'm un I've stopped because you've indicated there's an emergency. I've certainly committed no crime and I'm not uh, consenting to participate in any okay. investigation that you're asking for. Okay. So... Unless you have evidence in your hand that I've already committed a crime, I'm asking you, you've indicated that there's an emergency. Could you let me know what that is, please? And it's Officer Leading Senior Constable McCauley of the Highway Patrol. Yeah. I'm reading that off your, it seems like a badge that's on your uniform. What's that? I've asked you a question. What's the emergency? The and I haven't, I haven't heard the answer to my question. Oh, I did answer your question. What's no, the emergency? There is no emergency? Well, then I must be free to go. Is that correct? My name is Senior Constable McCauley. I'm from Byron Bay Highway Patrol. I just have to advise you the police car has audio and video recording equipment. A conversation has to be yours. has been recorded at the moment. Do you understand that? I don't understand. I don't stand under your well, authority. Can you produce your driver's license? Thank you. I don't own a driver's license and I have a written agreement with Service New South Wales that the contract is null and void. Okay. Now, the state has given me a plastic which was never mine. I didn't own it. Okay. And that's what you might be referring to. But it's certainly not in my name. Okay, wonderful. Would it's, you mind producing that for me? Well, could you tell me what is the cause that you're asking for? Because if you have a valid reason to ask for it, certainly I will. Wonderful. But I just did remind you that it's not in my name. Of course. No I'm the living being. Yes. I'm not a company. I'm not a person. Yes. And the piece of plastic is not owned by me. Okay. It was not issued by me. And it's not in my name. Wonderful. No worries. Would you mind producing it for me? Thank you. I've asked you for the reason. I believe you need a cause to ask yes. for such a thing. Have, if, is there some controversy today that you've caused me to stop my car? I'm no. about to start a meeting. You've caused me to be late. I've committed no crime. And uh, you've indicated you've got an emergency. I've asked no, you. I've the that lights that on your car indicate that there's an emergency. That's why I stopped. I if wouldn't have stopped. That if you let me do what I've stopped you for, you would be on your way and you would not be late for your meeting, okay? Can you produce I don't consent to any contract which between yours, us. Which isn't your name on the I do I do not consent. Of the, uh, driver license exact, if you are required to produce a driver's license if you are the driver of the motor vehicle in New South Wales. Well there's the confusion right there. I'm not driving. There's nothing commercial happening here. I'm in a private vehicle. I own this privately. You're speaking to a living being. I'm not under the jurisdiction jurisdiction of the legislation you've quoted. I'm under the legislation of the Commonwealth of Australia. Yeah. The Service New South Wales and the police force have been informed about this jurisdictional change. I'm not driving. You've accused me of something I'm not doing and I have already clarified. You just said that I was driving and it wasn't a fault. It's not a fa true statement. I wasn't driving. Who's driving? No one that I know. Okay. You've stopped me from my private business in my private conveyance. I'm a private living being. Okay. And I've asked you, what's your cause to stop me? Yep. You must have a reason to stop me. And I've asked you many times now, what is it? What's I've that reason? Well, I certainly have committed no crime that would cause you to delay or hinder me in any way. That's a, I couldn't agree with you more. Right. So, so you then you don't have a cause to stop me. And I do not voice. consent to this interaction. I do not consent to any contract or joinder with you as an individual or with your company. I've asked you for the reason for, for that because you the need a cause. I have a power, of, a power to stop you under the road transport. No, you don't have it. Not me. Not me. That's the confusion. Okay. No worries. You need to contact you Service New South Wales, Damon Rees, and, and confirm what I've said. I've got my documentation in order. Damon Rees of he is the CEO of Service New South Wales. Okay. I've confirmed to you that we have an in writing agreement of the yeah, situation. Do you have that with you? Well, they're the ones who, serve, who produce the piece of plastic you keep asking for. Okay. And I've asked you for the cause, and you haven't been able to give a cause because I'm not in your jurisdiction. I'll say for a third time. I don't breath consent test. to offer no, any no, evidence no. against me. I don't consent to participate in your investigation. We do not have a contract. I do not consent to a contract. I do not consent to any joinder with you. And at this point, I think it's important that I hand you my notice of service. Wonderful. That would be great. Thank you.
That'd be great. Thank you. I'll just reach out to my police car for just a moment. I'll come back and I'll have a look at it for you. Thank you. So, is the Highway Patrol normally yep. in this tiny little hamlet of New Brighton yeah, with its six inhabitants? Are. Yeah, unfortunately we are. Just and do you normally pull over people that you have no evidence against and you don't suspect of any crime and when they don't consent to the interaction you pursue it? Because are you aware that you take on commercial liability in your private capacity? I'm sorry, I'm not, no. Well then, uh, let me make it very clear because if you end the interaction now and go on your way, yeah. you won't accrue any private commercial losses Wonderful. and you won't crawl on yourself any further trouble than this incident has already caused. Okay, that's it, that's it. So I've now given you, I've served you my notice of standing which indicates my true standing. If you absolutely get to keep that. Your uh, boss, if you will, yes. has already received a copy and because principal, notice to principal is notice to agent, you should have already been informed of my standing. And that's where part of the confusion is. Your principal has failed to give you the up-to-date information you need. Yeah, that could be correct too. So you, your name's um, Miss Zoshire Featherlight, isn't it? I pronounce the name that people call me as Zosha. So, thank you very much. I was unaware of that. It's, um, and for official documentation, yes. because the government of the Commonwealth of Australia with the registered ABN and CIK number yes. have turned a version of my name into a business, I've had to rescind my citizenship and pull my whole being, my person, my business name, which is an unincorporated charity, my living being, my domicile are all pulled out of that jurisdiction the relevant people that you might choose to call authorities have been notified yeah, I've got and they've all received their notices of default so they've had the opportunity to rebut. Yeah. They've chosen not to because the truth is my jurisdiction is simply not in yours. Okay. We are in a different legal jurisdiction. Okay. You are in the law or legal jurisdiction of yes. statutory regulations yes. and I'm yeah. under law. It's quite a different body so of... the Imperial Crown of the Commonwealth. Yes, you see, there, there you, you are. Go. I can read too. Good. Well, Me too. Well, thank goodness for our early educations. I wish they had have informed us that we had options sooner, but I certainly am aware of who I am and my true rights. Yep. As a petitioner of the Queen, I am a national of the Commonwealth and, and the I am King, not and, and a citizen. That is right. Yes. So I am a loyal subject to the King and I'm not a citizen in the corporation. I don't have a contract with your corporation and I couldn't possibly consent to any further delay in, in me having my private day. So that's been signed by me. I have seen that. Yeah. Do, you, do you just have the one thing? Just, do you just sign the one? Okay, so I use my name. The first name, or they yep. call it Christian name, yes. Zosha, yep. in a lot of different ways. Sometimes I write it down, Zosha hyphen featherlight, and sometimes I write it Zosha. Okay. And it depends on the mood I'm in because I get called a lot of names. My mum calls me Sweet Pea. What does your mum call you? I don't know. I didn't really have a mum. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. That's all right. Do you have someone who, who does care for you? I'm sure there would be somewhere well, in the world. Well, maybe you've had a nickname at one point and you get called by all these different, let's say, uh, nicknames, sounds. I'm called by about six different things. A lot of people can't say my first name, so they say Zo. Okay. My brother used to call me Pandy. Yeah, right, okay. So there's a lot of ways to call me, but I certainly don't consent to this intervention any further. Okay, well, I understand that. And um, I'm really not under your jurisdiction. I think the best thing is just to say, have a lovely day, and let's let's call it at that. Okay. No worries. The piece of plastic that the piece of plastic that I'm referring to being what I call a driver's license that you're not going to produce. Um, when it was issued to you by the authority who didn't issue it to you, but they suggested that you have it. Um, no, I mean they they did issue it to me. They did issue it to you. They issued to me in the name of the person. Okay, that's right, you did say And that. I'm the executor for that trust. Okay. Look for I me. mean, I'm the sole beneficiary and executor. It's not like uh, it's not like that I'm some random thing. There is a connection there. I am the executor of that trust. Yes. They issued the executor a piece of plastic, and I've said I absolutely will show it to you if you can just tell me the cause. Okay. Okay, and so. and you ha you've not been able to say a cause well, that did. rates to my jurisdiction. 
No, well, that's true, that's true. So, um, under the jurisdiction, obviously, which I operate under, if you're driving a motor vehicle, which you're not, obviously, but if you're driving a motor vehicle on a, on a road under the definition in New South Wales, um, you're defined to be a driver, and if you're the driver of a motor vehicle on a road in New South Wales, then you must hold a New South Wales driver's licence, and under the Road Transport Act, you must produce it to someone who's an authority, which you obviously don't recognise as me being. I don't um, stand under your authority, well, but that, you right. have authority over lots and lots of the persons, the persons yeah. that you would pull over on a regular basis. Yeah. I don't dispute that you have no jurisdiction. Okay. I dispute that I'm under a different jurisdiction than your authority. Okay. I'm outside the limits and bounds of your authority, yes. and I have this in writing with the Chief of Service New South Wales, yes. who issued the piece of plastic we're discussing, Yes. and I've, in that same notice of standing, I have sent a similar or more, much more long version to all the people that you would consider your authority in your same jurisdiction. Yeah, I've got a lot on my side, yeah. I know. That's Whereas sure. I've got God and then the King and that's it. Okay. So it's way handier. Yeah. All right? So I'm not being rude or belligerent. Well, no, I've, no, I've no, agreed. I that. I will give you, I will show you the, and I'm not trying to hide my identity. I've given you a document with identifiable words written on it that you'll be able to know who it is. Yeah. But I should tell you that um, I'm not under your jurisdiction and I can't possibly consent okay. to any further interaction between us. Okay. It really is against my rights as a yep. Commonwealth National. Your rights, just for future reference, um, you can be detained by police, okay, whether you consent to it or not, okay, so... You'd um, want to have a pretty good cause. Not cause, really. Because if you don't, you might tone out that you're infringing on my rights worse than your cause. Yeah, no. Look, and that would end up being quite expensive okay, so for I've you. Listened, I've listened to you now. Yeah. Would you like to listen to me so we can so we can end this interaction? I sure would like to end it. Wonderful. Okay. As a driver of a motor vehicle on New South Wales Road, okay, police have the authority generally yep uh, to stop people for the purpose of a road stop I've okay, heard about listen, it listen for, for a moment okay um, a person um, can produce a driver's license or some form of identity okay they submit to the roadside breath test and they are free to go unfortunately in this area here we have uh, the highest rate per capita of alcohol impaired drivers in the state of New South Wales or very close to it, okay? So we have a lots and lots of people who drive impaired by alcohol. It's 9am on a Friday morning! Unbelievable, isn't it? I yeah. refuse to believe a lot of what's happening in the moment, actually. Okay. I find it very surprising. Okay. There was a Tweeders Highway Patrol. He, um, he, uh, one of those people that you think aren't here, he was uh, stopped this morning at half past seven and he was arrested for, for a random breath test. At, at half past seven? At half past seven this but morning, yeah. So far, has it sounded like or looked like I have got any sort of drunkenness? I actually don't drink, but you didn't know that. Yeah. So, does it seem like to you, now that we've had quite a long conversation, that I actually probably am drunk or could be drunk at all? I don't think you are. And right. I'm not sure why you're, why you're delaying the process of because, undergoing a breath test. Because you're infringing on my authority to conduct well, my private piece. I'm just going to this year without going into your vehicle, okay? I do not consent to this encroachment on my rights. Okay. Do you understand... That if you don't consent to a breath test that you can be arrested okay actually I, I, I do mis- not understand and i find that okay, that is well, quite very clear that's a strong now, okay. statement that i think you'll find is inaccurate and i'd like you to produce the proclamation no, I don't have certificate any. of any you, okay. any legislation that so you purport you've been told unconditionally about your rights what you have to do as a driver of a motor vehicle. I am not a driver. I, that is a false statement. You continue to, to carry on and, and go along this line in future reference, okay? There is going to, um, it may may not end out like it is at the moment. It may end adversely for you, okay? With your arrest for failing to produce your driver's license, okay? I've established who you are through the computer on my phone, through, on, my, um, on my police vehicle there, all right? I've taken whatever this is here. It's my notice of standing, which helps you understand that I'm not in your jurisdiction. Yeah, it doesn't really help me to understand because I'm not under this jurisdiction. And in a court of law, this holds about as much water as a bucket of water filled hole. I hope you're not willing to bet your family's home on that statement, sir.